Hi, I'm Ahmed and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how CryptoGhost works. CryptoGhost is an application that's run on Android operating system and its only job is protecting your privacy by encrypting your files. Before I start, there's an important note that I have to tell you. If you are running on Android Jelly Bean or below, you have to download an external file manager. If you already have one, that's good. If you don't have one, I'm recommending ES File Explorer. And it's available on Google Play and it's free of course. Okay, when you launch CryptoGhost for the first time, you will see an important note that basically says that email address and password are, ca are case sensitive. So you have to be careful about the capital letters and small letters. For example, a capital F, it's, small, it's different from lowercase, uh, lowercase f. So you have to be careful at case sensitive. Okay, so I'm going to write an email address first. And then I will fill up the password and confirmation for the password. And you can use any uh, email address that you want. There is no verification. Um, you can choose any password that you want. This application doesn't require any internet connectivity. So choose any email and any password that you want. Okay. Um, going to write the password now. Confirmation for the password. Okay, so you can see that there is a register, a register button and a restore key button. And I'm going to uh, explain restore key later on in this video, but for now I'm going just to register uh, for the encryption part. Okay, so now we are in the encryption screen. You can see that there is an image in the center and we have two options here and a file name. So first I have to check and but navigate to the file that I want to encrypt first. For example, I have a test here. I have this and I have a PDF file and a, a BNG file basically. And um, before I start encrypting this, I will try to show it to you that it's what's the content of these files. For example, this this one, this secret with the BDF, that BDF, it contains, for example, uh, secret information. And the BNG file, it has the logo of crypto ghost okay now i'm going to encrypt the whole thing okay so navigating to the files i'm going to to encrypt now secret.bdf and you can see that the image is being converted to a bad luck image and this is just an indication that the file has already been inserted so you are good to go Okay, so now you, are, you have two options. The first option is encrypt with my password, aka for myself. And this is just basically that you want to encrypt a file and, you, and you're the only one who will decrypt the file. No one can decrypt the file other than you. Okay, the second option is that if you want to encrypt a file and share it to your friends. So you have to specify uh, one option from these options. And for, in this case, we will encrypt for ourselves. Okay, I'm going to specify a name, for example, uh, encrypted secret. And this is the PDF file that we, we choose. Okay, and after I complete the whole thing, I will just press encrypt. And you can see that the file encrypted successfully. And for example, if you are navigating to the file, for example, you go to the CryptoGhost folder and encrypted files folder, you can see that encrypted, uh, encrypted secret.cg is already been encrypted and if you want to run it, you can't see anything. It's just uh, a, a dump file, okay? Now we can return to our CryptoGhost here and you can see, if, for example, if I want to decrypt the thing, I can go to decryption from here and navigate to the file, navigate to the encrypted file encrypted in encrypted secret and you can see that the file is also converting to a bad luck file and this is just an indication the file has been inserted and in the two options here you can you have to choose the method or the option that you already choose and in, in the encryption encryption process part our in, in, in the encryption we encrypted to ourselves 
So in this case, we will have to decrypt it because it will use the same key that is, is used before in the encryption process. Okay, so I will write the name for the generated part. Here I'm going to, for example, decrypted, uh, decrypted B, for example, and I will hit decrypt. And you can see the file decrypted successfully. So if, you, if we navigate to the decrypted, bar, decrypted files, you can see that the file has already been recovered. So you can see that. Okay. Let's go now and encrypt to our friends. For example, this uh, the method that we showed be, the, that we show that it's already applicable just for your files. It it will be encrypted just for your key. And now I want to encrypt with an external password. I will, for example, navigate to uh, our test files and choose the BNG file. And this time I will choose option number two, encrypt and share. And I will say, for example, encrypted for my friend. My friends, okay, encrypted for my friends. Well, there's two of my, okay. Now, if I, when I hit encrypt, it will give me a message that I have to specify a password, and this password that I will give to my friends in order for them to decrypt the file. Okay, I'm going to just choose a password, normal password, Okay, and then I hit encrypt. You can see the file encrypted successfully, and there is a bubble message that uh, says if I want to share with any application that I want. And you can see, if we navigate to our files, we can see the encrypted files, we can see the encrypted for my friend. And I, if I run the application, run the file, sorry, you cannot see anything. Okay, now I have to decrypt this one. Go to decryption and navigate to the file encrypt to ghost encrypted file encrypt for my friend and uh, if i want to decrypt i i i dec i, dec I encrypted with an external password but if but and for example i want to decrypt it with my private key that i have and i will specify for example decrypted and friends decrypted friends so if i want to decrypt you can see that the decryption part it will corrupted it will give you a corrupted file and this means the de the decryption uh, process it's not success yet so we have to choose our decryption and choose our our password that we choose before in the encryption process okay this is the password that we have and decrypt it will show you the password and then it will give you the file decrypted successfully okay so if we navigate here and go to the decrypted files you can see that decrypted B, de uh, sorry, decrypted uh, decrypted friends, it has our image back. You can see the file is has the image back. Okay, so this is basically the, how the encryption and de encryption and decryption process works in CryptoGhost. Okay, so let's now na let's navigate to settings, and you can see that there is uh, five options here. And uh, the first option is called change password. And this is just basically when you want to change your email and pass email address and password. But be careful when you want to change your credentials, your private key or your key or the private your private key will be changed also. So if you encrypted some files with your file with your, with your private key, it will be changed. So the new key will not will not recover the previous ima the images and files. So you have to be careful. Changing your password will change the whole private key. So be careful. The second option is key backup. The key, um, I always advise you to take a backup of your key in, in order for you, for example, in the future, uh, to use the same private key to recover the files that you have. For example, we know that the, file, the phone itself, maybe it will be s stolen from you. Or for example, the device itself maybe stops working for any, any reason. So you have to take a backup of your key so you can recover the whole image or files from any device. Just plug in the your key and your private key will be restored. Okay, so when you hit the key backup, it will generate a key folder for you and the key, it will be inside the key folder. And you can see there from CryptoGhost, 
okay for example clip to ghost you can see that there is a key folder generated and it has the key dot crypto and this is your file your your key and make sure and there is an important note here that the key itself has already been encrypted with your password and email the current email and password so when you want to restore your key you have to specify the encrypted uh, you have to specify your credential also so for example if anyone steal this file he cannot just run it and use your private key okay so now you have the same suggestion and bug report if you have any problem or you have any suggestion you can send it to us by clicking on send suggestion or bug report and always remember that we want to improve crypt crypto ghost and this is not a profitable project and this is just a project to help our community and society to have our privacy back okay the last option that we have here that is drawing my account if you want to destroy and remove your account and your credential credentials for any reason you have to destroy your account from here and i always remind uh, i always advise you that that you have to take a backup of your key in order for you to restore your private key in the future if you want to because destroying your account this move is not reversible okay now we ha i want to tell you how to restore your key after you take a backup of your key you you will have uh, a key folder here and it will have uh, you have a file that's called key.crypto you have to copy this file and paste it in restore folder after you paste it in the restore folder you have to run the application for the first time as as i told you before and you can see that there is a restore key button there so you have just to re click the restore key and your key will be restored immediately okay uh, this is it i think for this tutorial and if you have any problem or something you can always visit us as at cryptogos.com and you can if you have any doubt about the algorithms or the cryptography that we are using you can see our methodology there we are we we don't have anything to hide so you can check our methodology uh, the code will be released soon so you can check it you can check it for all, for yourself okay th that's it thank you for watching and have a good one